nope, here we go again. So uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta traverse the mountains again. Because there's some debris over there. Oh, I hope to God it's worth it. Like really it was worth it. Was it worth the pun? Was it worth the pun? It wasn't even that wasn't even a good pun. Oh come now, it was delightful. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Do not delude yourself. Delusions of delight, eh? Come on, Mako! Okay, seriously? I'm about to jet boost us back there. Wait. If you don't move. The developer's putting that fucking mineral deposit right the fuck there. Fuck you, Bioware. Fuck you, Bioware, we love you. Ah, jet boost that actually worked. Yeah. Oh my god. I get it, different planets and shit. Look at us, we're Bioware. Look at our mastery of fucking characters and all the fucking mountains in the fucking world. Too bad they couldn't master the design of the planets they made. Look at us, we're Bioware. Like, I, I don't even think... I don't even think that it would be that bad. I don't even think they like the Mako. Well, I mean, I don't think it would be that bad if the Mako maybe had a higher gear for when you're on the mountains. Or, like, you know, spikes in its fucking tires to climb the mountains, because I feel like... Action. That would have also... Yeah, actually... I feel like we would have those in the fucking future! Oh, don't you love that when you open up the map and it's just like, nope, nope, you can't move the cursor. That's never happened before. Okay, to the anomaly. Then we've got one more pit stop before we go to the fucking mine to disarm that nuke. Oh yeah, there's a nuke in the mine. Yeah, that's what we're here to do, remember? Oh yeah. I was distracted by the beryllium in this area. And the fucking mountain. Nah, more, more the scenario. Okay. Why? I don't know. A scavenger corpse! Ooh. I like to scavenge corpses of scavengers. Scavenge the scavenger corpse. Jibiju! Big sibiz! Okay, one more thing that we need to hit up before we go in there. Don't worry, it won't take long. It takes the rest of the episode. Um. See, look, another anomaly. I'm a genius. Uh, ow. I think level 20 is when we unlock the ability to be more charismatic. Ooh, a corpse. Hi there. Brushing away the carbonization of the door of the... Uh, Contragravity speeder, you can see the Nizo brand name. Judging by the <laughs> charring, the wreckage has been here since the star's last variable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appear to be melted antique aviator goggles. Why would you be wearing an expensive suit here of all fucking places? I feel like... That's a Although reference, be... and I'm not getting it. Is it? I feel like it's a reference, and we're not getting it. Oh, Antique aviator goggles, and he melted in the sun. Captain Orlog? I don't fucking know. Look at that fucking sun. Although this would be a kick-ass place to have a wedding. Just gotta say. Or... Why don't you fucking make love to the sun? No. If you love it so much, it's just, not the just ask sun. it to marry it, you. It's not the sun, it's the colors of the environment. You mean... And the saturation of the shadows. You mean the dull black grays and reds. Hey, it, it, they look cool. Okay. Yeah, but they're still blacks, grays, and reds. 
But contrasted together, they look really fucking cool. Please do say how cool the planet looks, Edge Lord McGee. It does though. Edge Lord McGee. It does though. I'm waiting for a grassy planet. I want something with grass. Grass is cool too. Whee! Provided provided that the solar uh Whee! the solar visuals make it so Whee! Oh god. Whee! Ow. Do a barrel roll. No, that joke was just too tempting. Yeah, well, it's I'm, time to disarm a nuke. I'm trying to solve the whole mystery of the aviator goggles and the expensive suit. Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. This smells. <laughs> yeah, this thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before oh, we Oh, sh Paragon Shepard being oh so naive. We've entered the mine. <laughs> And Rex seems to want to climb the walls. <laughs> this smells. Spider Rex. Spider Rex. Does whatever a Spider Rex does. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm guessing that's kill things. Can you imagine Rex hanging from the ceiling and killing things? Sounds like a Thane thing to do. Mm. Oh god, the combination of Thane and Rex. Thane hasn't been introduced yet, sir. I know. I don't care. Fuck yeah, Thane's great. You can't deny that shit. Thane's okay. I mean, Grunt's amazing. Because he's a Grogan. <laughs> Literally, the only reason... The only reason I have Grunt in my party at all times in Mass Effect 2 is because he's a fucking Grogan. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna save before we blow ourselves up. That's good. Yeah. Saving before that would be preferable. Saving before we, you know, we try and tackle this, uh... Oh, hey, there we go, we're trapped in the mine. That was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <laughs> Shepard. At last. Do I know you? You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. He looks no like he belongs on this planet. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. My name is Ilanos Halliot. I doubt you know me. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? I like pirates. For most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men. Seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. My You're kind? the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. Failed of you, your damnable holding action. My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead man. Goodbye, Shepard. Now what? We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. <laughs> oh, okay. Zaxi, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 
There are three of them. Okay. It's disabled. Hope they're not in the mines. Oh, hey, look, there's an exit. There was an upgrade kit. Where? I don't know, you just kind of passed it. I wasn't paying attention. Here yeah, yeah, good job. Good eyes. Yes, we got a grenade! <laughs> That's the important part, is we that gonna, we got a we grenade. Gonna, we, gonna, we gonna grenade Halley it? Uh, I wasn't planning on it now. Oh. seen us yet. Also, I'm saving. Yeah, good plan. Because we just disabled a fucking nuke, and I don't want to lose that if we lose this battle. That is true. Isn't that the Mako? Yeah. <laughs> Shepherd, master of stealth. Be very, very quiet. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Arrgh. Arrgh. Oh, hi. Hi, Halliot. <laughs> Sponge ball, me bib. Oh, he was caught in my tires. Poor bastard. <laughs> Did you see that guy just fucking snap his neck on the fucking thing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> he just went flying. Oh, I love it. A pirate's life for you? <laughs> <laughs> Squad up, bitch. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, we can do charm. Yeah. More charm! And another point into Spectre training. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yeah, another point into Spectre training. Because it gives us a lot of shit. What oh, wait. I, I know. I know. I saw it. Hi, Ashley. Fuck yeah, Rex gets shotguns now. Rex a boy with the shotguns. With the shotguns? Shotguns. Okay, well that was this planet. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Oh boy. That was a fun one. Not really. It looked nice though. It, it, it was a fun little detour. It had a cool aesthetic, I suppose. Are we gonna hear from Hackett after the triangle of happiness and doom and happiness talks to us? Of doom and happiness and doom and happiness and doom and happiness. And doominess? And doominess. And happy doom. Nothing from Hackwet. Hackwet? I'm sorry, what are we, five? I don't know. Oh well, let's hit up... We hit up Gemini Sigma already. Have we been to Argus Row? No, we haven't been to Argus Row yet. Let's go hit up Argus Row. And the Hydra Shit. Cluster. Oh wait, there's two! Oh, Phoenix! Hydra sounds more fun. What do you think is cooler, the Phoenix or the Hydra? 
Fuck you. Okay, it was just a question, Jesus. Varmalus! Varmalus. Well, there's nothing here on Varmalus. Message coming in. Uh, uh, but... Oh, there's a message. There, there's a fucking thing here. I meant to press X. I didn't do it. It's okay. It's okay, we're not on Metros. Not yet. Siva. That sounds a really close. Why do we keep finding gas deposits? I don't want your stinky ass fart juice. Can rum? Rumming my cans about? But like, what was that river? Thayer. Thayer. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that that was a reference, but I don't know what it was referencing. Goggles burned out by the sun. Ancient aviator goggles, to be precise. Crash landing, Argos Row. The question is, what in Mass Effect... Liara! Oh, hello, Big Blue Bay. What, what, the question is, what in Mass Effect counts as fucking uh, ancient? Uh, well, we're in the year, like, 2100, so... So, like, what's the usual threshold for Probably that I'd say it'd be, like, the 1900s that they're talking about because of the, you know, but like, aviator it, goggles. But is a 200-year gap really ancient? Because, like, 200 years ago now... But consi like... considering that, you know, think about aviation. That's considered ancient history of aviation because it was near the beginning of aviation. I mean, I guess... At least that's what I'd think. Oh my, look at all of them. Look at all the damn abilities. Oh, we're getting singularity up in this bitch. Holy shit. What does the sorry scientist do? Does it matter? We're getting here a bunch of fucking powers first. A sorry scientist reduces recharge time on biotics. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give her, I'll give her throw on the next one. Look at, look at that fucking build out for Liara though. Just biotics everywhere. Okay. Next time on Mass Effect, we're gonna explore the shit out of this planet and try and find whoever the fuck was sending out that distress signal. Bye.